If you have erosive esophagitis, symptoms of heartburn can be a sign that acid is continually going back up into your esophagus and creating more damage. So it's really important to get a handle on those symptoms and reduce them as much as possible. One of the ways you can do that is by trying to figure out which are the foods that give you heartburn the most often. The best way to do that is to keep a food diary where you record your food and also your symptoms at the same time. You can do that with a pen and paper, but now there are a lot of apps as well that you can find online. So the most common foods that cause heartburn are acidic foods like tomatoes or citrus juices, coffee, alcohol, especially red wine, chocolate. Heartburn can also be triggered by very fatty foods like fried foods or very carbohydrate heavy foods like big dishes of pasta. When you have a big meal, you develop something called an acid pocket, where a bunch of stomach acid sits on top of the food. And when you lie down immediately afterwards, instead of the acid staying down here in your stomach, there's no more gravity to help you out. So the acid can pull back up into your esophagus and cause a lot of damage. Eating more frequent, smaller meals is an easy way to reduce your frequency of heartburn. Having a very full stomach leads to increased pressure inside the stomach and can lead to more frequent relaxations of the muscle that keeps everything in the stomach called the lower esophageal sphincter. Not smoking or quitting smoking if you do smoke is important for a thousand health reasons, but one of them has to do with acid reflux and heartburn. So people who smoke have more frequent relaxations of the muscle called the lower esophageal sphincter that keeps the stomach contents inside the stomach, and that can lead to more heartburn, more acid exposure in the esophagus, and can lead to serious consequences like erosive esophagitis. Weight loss can be very helpful in reducing the frequency and the severity of symptoms of heartburn or acid reflux. When you have excess abdominal fat, you're creating a lot of pressure pushing back in on the stomach, and the stomach contents often get pushed up into the esophagus. So by losing even five to 10 pounds, you can make a huge difference in the way you feel. So the symptoms of heartburn or acid reflux can seem very common or minor, but if you have them very frequently, the symptoms are very severe. It's important to be seen by a doctor to help you figure out what the causes of these symptoms, make sure it's not anything dangerous, and also help guide you in your medication or lifestyle changes to make sure you don't develop any serious long-term consequences.